Yo, what is up guys, H2O back here with another video, and man oh man has it been so long since I've recorded and edited and uploaded a video, but today I got a pretty special one for you guys, so I actually went through, I was actually trying to get some, you know, different gameplays between Overwatch and Infinite Warfare, and my main go-to character in Overwatch is definitely Reaper, so I thought, you know what, let's bring Reaper into Infinite Warfare and, you know, give him this really cool creative class that really does feel like you're playing Overwatch in infinite warfare which actually is what i did so as you can see we are making the reaper from overwatch create a class right now so obviously for your hellfire shotguns you're going to want to use the um m dot whatever the numbers are it's my favorite shotgun in the game you're going to want to add in the dual wield the um long barrel as well as even the extended mags to add in, add in more ammo because you know why not then you're going to want to move on and you obviously are going to put on your ghost your scavenger so that way you never run out of ammo because let's face it in overwatch you never run out of ammo <laughs> so once you have that then you can move on to the third tier which i just put dead silence to keep with the class but you could add other stuff too but yeah so heading on to the camos i just went on and put on the paranoia because it was like this ghost and like you know like very Reaper-ish, like I feel like he would definitely rock that camo on his weapon. Moving on to the um, combat rig, you're gonna want to use the Phantom payload um, or the rig, and you're gonna want to use active camo. Now, because there was no whole invincible moving away type of thing, we're using active camo, so that's gonna work. There is no teleportation, sadly, for him, so that's the only downside. And for armor, you could run with what I'm wearing, which is like a level 40 in the Wraith team. It's up to you. Any armor, honestly, that is very symbolist. The symbolism of Reaper should be good. Now, moving on to the gameplay. Look at the freaking weapons. It looks so much like Reapers. So let me put it up on the screen right now, and you can see how crazy this looks. So it definitely feels like I'm actually playing as Reaper in Infinite Warfare, but I'm not. And the crazy thing is, is that you can, you know, of course, shoot the way that I do, and you could, or else you could double shoot at the same time. But what I tend to do is keep that Reaper type of feel and shoot one on the right side, then the left side, then the right, and so on and so forth. Um, the shotguns are super good, and it actually does really feel like you're playing as Reaper, because, let's face it, these shotguns aren't going to be very good at long range, so don't be trying to pull a long range kill with these. It's not going to work. Um, so you definitely have to get up and close and personal. And in the gameplay, you will see that I, of course, do use the active camo. You're going to be able to use it like the whole, uh, how do I say it, you know, Reaper's little wraith form, I believe it is, where you can, of course, move around and they can't shoot you. But, of course, they can shoot you still but you know just try to ignore it and within the gameplay i do compare and add in some clips from my overwatch game which do show off a little bit of how you know re like similar this class is to him and even the end game like the end of the game it's just so similar so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time
Mission accomplished. A good day's work. Victory. Play of the game.